an openly gay soldier and outspoken, outspoken critic of the don't ask, don't tell policy, has revealed today he's been formally discharged from the United States Army. Lieutenant Dan Choi, a West Point grad, was arrested back in March for handcuffing himself to the White House fence in protest of the policy that bans gays from serving openly in the United States military. Our Pentagon correspondent, Chris Lawrence, is joining us now with more. Uh, Chris, I'm sure uh, Lieutenant Choi knew this was coming. Uh, he had been removed for some time. It was only a matter of time before he was formally discharged, I assume. Yeah, Wolf, well, you know, we spoke with uh, Lieutenant Choi this afternoon, and he, he knew it was coming, uh, but he told us, quote, you know, you prepare yourself. He said, I, I had built up an armor, but it is still an emotional roller coaster. Now, uh, Lieutenant Troy says he just got a phone call today from his battalion commander letting him know about the discharge. But, you know, when I called the Army National Guard up there in New York, they said they had, they had emailed him four times. They left messages. Uh, they had even uh, sent his discharge papers to his family's home. Now, we know that uh, some senior military officials have come out publicly saying they're not going to actively or aggressively try to uh, discharge service members under Don't Ask, Don't Tell at this point. But Lieutenant Choi was a different case because his case was, was well into the pipeline already, and he had made several uh, you know, public uh, uh, scenes. You know, At one point, he went on a hunger strike. He had appeared at some blatantly political events in his uniform. And most recently, he chained himself uh, to a fence outside the White House uh, to protest the don't ask, don't tell policy. So are they saying because of those activities, chaining himself to the fence, for example, that's why he was discharged today? No. Otherwise, they would have let him go on for some time? No, those are just examples of, 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 of how public he took it. What they're saying is, you know, they're not going, there's, no, there's not going to be any witch hunt out there where they're actively going out and trying to find people to discharge under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Lieutenant Troy was very different. He was very public about his homosexuality and about the cause that he believed in in the military. It's interesting, uh, I got to say, because uh, the president now says he wants to get rid of this policy, the Secretary of Defense. They're reviewing it over at the Pentagon where you are right now. Uh, where does that stand, this review, before it formally gets thrown out, the whole policy of don't ask, don't tell? Yeah, I, I just checked on that uh, this afternoon, Wolf, and uh, right now, as of today, uh, about 40,000 troops have returned their questionnaires to the military. That's out of about 400,000 that the military sent out. Equal mix, active duty and reservists. Uh, they're asking them questions to gauge exactly, you know, what's going to be the military position? What are they going to recommend uh, coming out of this as to how this could affect this, the service? Uh, some of the questions include, you know, how much did serving with a, a gay or lesbian service member affect your unit's morale? If Don't Ask, Don't Tell was repealed and you were assigned to an open bay shower, uh, what would you do? So those are some of the questions that the troops are right now filling out. And then this commission will take those answers, process them, and will at some point get an idea of how, where exactly the military feels that it stands on this issue. All right. Uh, uh, thanks very much, Chris Lawrence. With that update, we'll continue to watch this story, a very sensitive story indeed.